hello world so this will be our third video on code wars so this is our third challenge it's called as counting sheep so let's just see what this is about uh, consider an array list of sheep where some sheep may be missing from their place we need a function that counts the number of sheep present in the array true means present all right so basically we have a function that should return the number of sheep that are present inside this array right so true means it is present so what we need would be a loop that will travel through this array and check if that particular item is true or false uh, if it is true then we say that the sheep is present if it is false then it, we say that the sheep isn't present so at the end of the day, the correct answer would be 17 for this given input, right? So there are 17 true values, I assume. And they have a hint over here. Don't forget to check for bad values like null or undefined. All right. So we have an input, which is an array of sheeps, right? Uh, and its values are Boolean in nature. And we need to output number of sheep present in the array and because this function does the counting we need a variable that counts right so here is what we are going to do first we are let us declare a variable called as count which is initialized to zero at the moment then we need to travel through the array right we need to go through this array and check for each and every value so what we need to do is um, for say for example let i is equal to zero i is less than array of sheep dot length because we need to travel through all the items inside the array and array dot length gives us the number of items that are present inside the array and i plus plus Again, if you want the explanation in more detail, I believe the first video I have covered what exactly we are doing while traveling through an array. You can check that out if you want. Uh, so here I'm just trying to solve the problem, right? So moving on, if we need to check if uh, the given particular value is true or false, right? So if the current item, so if array of sheep of I equal to equal to true so if it is present is what we are trying to say right so if this is present then we increment the count value by one so this is as good as saying count is equal to count plus one right so what i have done here is a shorthand uh, expression so when you do this this is what you mean by it so you can do that and then after you count that you then return the count value right so let's just check this if this works yeah i'm just going to remove these comments so that it is going to look a bit cleaner uh, let this be here and it should still work fine right because comments are obviously skipped by your program so yeah, this was pretty easy, pretty straightforward video, like nothing complicated. All you are doing is traveling through this array, checking if the value is true or false. I mean, basically, you're actually checking for only true values because uh, here, if it is true, then the sheep is present, right? If it is false, what happens if it is false? I mean, we haven't told the computer to do anything explicitly, right? So what the compiler does is, if it encounters false or as they have told or as they have mentioned over here, right? If it is null or undefined. So if it encounters false or null or undefined, then it will just neglect these video. I mean, these uh, values, right? Like it doesn't know what to do. So it will just throw it out, right? So we don't need to explicitly check for those but you can do it like you can have an if statement and you can check for those values. And then you can say, if you encounter those, you just continue, right? Once you continue, you won't execute that part of the loop any further, right? 
So you can do that or you can just leave it out just like that so that the compiler just neglects it, right? So yeah, that is it for this video. Uh, pretty straightforward. Hope you enjoyed it.